Good morning, good morning, it's a happy day today. Good morning, good morning. It's circle time, let's sing and play. It's circle time, let's sing and play. Yeah! Where's the smile? Where's the smile? Do you remember what some funny words from yesterday were? Remember your bag? Your new bag for your toys? What does that say? Yum, yum, yum. Okay. <laughs> okay. That bag says... Okay. <laughs> yum, yum, <Okay>. yum. <laughs> got pictures of little kids on one side. And on the other side it says... Okay. Yum, yum, okay. yum. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. There's a little puppy taking her morning wee wee. Hey, hey, Daphne. Hi. She likes to see the kitty cats. They don't really love to see her. Except for 13. I think she likes it somewhat. Bobo's still offended by us having this little puppy. Hey, what you doing? Huh? Come on, you gotta go bathroom. Hear a truck out here. I don't know if y'all hear it or not. <laughs> yeah, go bathroom again. Oh, very good, very good. She knows what go to bathroom means. It doesn't mean that she won't have to go again when she gets in the house, but hey, most of the time she doesn't. <laughs> Usually she'll use a pee pad if she's in there though. You gotta go bathroom? Can I get bathroom again? Huh? Come on. Playful little doggy. So, this is Bobo. He's our big boy. Hey, Bobo. Hey, Bobo. And this is 13. She's our black cat. We found her as a baby kitten. She was wild. Took up at our house. She was just as wild as the day is long. And when we captured her, she was instantly tame and sweet. And as a kitten, Bobo was grown, or young adult, and he took up a lot of time with her and they ran around the house playing. And so, these are our kitty cats. Thirteen. We named her Thirteen because, you know, there's been like, um, superstition against black cats and it was just like proof that we're not superstitious about black cats. She's a lovely black cat named 13. And he's a lovely cat named Bobo. And his name is Bowtie because when he was a puppy, he ate off a piece of Bowtie pasta. Hey there, thanks for joining me today. Um, I've already done some footage for the first part of the day and I thought I'd just sit and have a chat with you. And my dog's probably gonna be barking the whole time. You can hear her over there him. That's Xavier. He's one of our big dogs. But um, I guess that, you know, just I basically talk about making good choices and getting back into being healthy and the best that you can be. Um, like I had told before on one or two other of the videos that we've done so far, mm, well, if, if other people looked at how I ate and my lifestyle, they'd probably still think, say that I was doing 100%, but I know how I had been doing previously. Previously, I was just all into healthy foods, and um, a big reason is not just because of I was obsessed with it or anything. That's not the case. Um, because I want to be the best I can be and be there for my children. Um, our youngest has cerebral palsy, and we have to be strong for her. We have to be there for her. We have to do a lot of things for her, and I intend on doing that my entire life without being, um, having some kind of lifestyle induced problem, you know, that I, like, you know, um, that I can avoid and that I know I can avoid. I've already, um, gotten rid of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, PCOS, all of that by eating healthier. And I had lost a lot of weight. Um, quite honestly, I think I've probably put on about 10 pounds in the last few months. Um, but I'm losing that again. Um, 
and a lot of things that happened to like kind of bring me to that place of kind of um, in a lot of ways I guess just focusing on, on other things which is good I mean I, you know to focus on other things but it was not um, in a really positive way um, I, I don't think I've really mentioned to y'all we, we did videos right on through the time that my mom was really really sick and right on through the time that she passed away and I never mentioned it it's like I couldn't really talk about it uh, but it really did have a big effect on my life and um, you know things catch up with you and you have to deal with them and then I had something else happen in my life um, a few months ago about the time that I stopped making videos it was pretty devastating to me um, and I just I felt like I didn't even have any interest in the things that I love doing anymore you know I focused on my family and took care of my children I will never ever stop having an interest in that but it's like I just um, you know it was hard it was really really hard and I know that we go through things in life for a reason and um, I feel like I'm building back up and it's I choose for it to be better than before because I'm more aware before, than I was before it seems like the bad things that happen in our lives have the strange quality of making us more aware um, and making us grateful more grateful and then a lot of issues to work through as well of course but um yeah I mean I, I'm committed to being back making good decisions because I want to be healthy because I want to be there for my children because I want to inspire other people to do the same thing I mean because it all starts with one decision at a time I mean you can't overwhelm yourself by saying this is the way it's going to be and there's no wiggle room and I can't fail or whatever like that I mean it, nobody is perfect I mean some people have a can do things perfectly for a short amount of time or even a long amount of time but ultimately nobody is perfect and so I, nobody's going to make perfect decisions all the time but there are, are criteria that you can stick to like on one of my main criteria is to eat no GMO foods um, to eat I only eat vegan foods so um, I'm not going to deviate from uh, vegan food and non GMO foods that's just not what I'm going to deviate from but I try to eat um, a lot of raw foods and um, I'm back to cutting the oil out of my diet that's one thing I think that is probably the thing that made me lose I mean gain some weight is um, you know a few non GMO chips here and there that were cooked in oil um, cooking the oil on my popcorn at night um, maybe a little too much it was good but you know you, you see you can get away with the little things like that every now and then but if it becomes a part of your life it's gonna you're gonna see bad effects from it I think and so yeah I'm committed to um, doing this thing and and I've seen progress already and <laughs> the cats clawing at the tree over there but I just want to be inspiration for you I mean because I was like I know I can do it because used to I wouldn't eat anything really unless it had a health benefit and I was all about you know a sharing health and stuff with people like that and um you know it's like I've seen heard other people say that you know you, I, I don't tell people what to do but I would like to be an inspiration to someone who wants to get healthier and um, who wants to find out more about different things because I like to learn about things and if you look at our videos we share informational things we've learned and um, things like that so you know I just like to share healthy lifestyle healthy journey with people and I want to encourage you to that it starts with one decision at a time you know if you eat good for breakfast and eat crappy lunch you cannot make that decision again to have a good dinner and just keep it on going no matter how many times you fail just keep encouraged keep the um, vision of what you want to do going and keep it in the forefront of your mind why you're doing it um, you know I am a Christian and, and I do believe that God has me here on this earth for a purpose and and I do believe it's honoring him to take care of my body and it's a good thing to take care of my body so I can do the things I'm supposed to do 
um, so I can show respect and, and appreciation for it. And so, like I said before, I can be here for the people that need me to be here for them. And also, what else was I going to say? Um, another reason why somebody would kind of falter from this is maybe you don't love yourself enough. Um, and maybe you don't think you're worthy. Or why should I bother? Who cares? Um, you really need to get out of that kind of thinking if that's where you're at with it. Because you really do have to um, love yourself and um, think that you are worthy of good decisions and things like that. Because it really affects other people. People are looking at you and they're seeing what you're doing. Good or bad. And I think that you really should um, give yourself you know, the encouragement, um, the love, surround yourself with other people who have the same, you know, goal as you, to wanting to get healthier, and inspire the people around you and share with them, but don't be pushy, and don't avoid things or things just because it doesn't coincide with what you're doing. You don't want to alienate yourself, but you want to be an encouragement to other people, and you want to do what you know is right. And, um... Yeah, talking about loving yourself, there's always going to be somebody who you think is prettier or better or whatever, but we, you know, everybody was created with the body they have, you know, and and it's what, it's how we take care of it and what we do, and everybody is beautiful, and so don't fall into that trap of thinking you're not good enough, because you are good enough to take care of yourself, and you're important enough. And you have people in your life that love you. And you have something I'm sure that God wants you to do. And, and you have people who probably depend on you. And that um, you mean a whole lot to. And people that look up to you. And who are going to see what you're doing. So I just want to be an encouragement to you today with all of that. And, and kind of be honest with you. About you know what's been going on in our life. And my vision for these videos is to continue with the vlogs. And... Um, I want to start a series of interviews with a lot of different type of people. I have a huge interest in um, people who um, are doing healthy things, who have turned things around with a healthy lifestyle. And I just am really, that's in my um, near future, wanting to start up those interviews. So keep a lookout for that. And just all kinds of different things, like we talked about before. And so after this, I'm going to show you a few clips um, of some other things of interest. And I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, some days I might just pick a, a topic to talk about. <laughs> That's kind of an interesting thing to do. I also like the video challenges and stuff like that. But I'm glad to be back. I really enjoy watching other people's channels. So if you have a channel and you're watching this, um, I probably enjoy watching your channel. <laughs> because I'm sure we have something in common and a lot of people who have subscribed to me I subscribe back to you guys and I find that I do enjoy your channels and so you have a great beautiful blessed day and I, I'm so glad you joined us today joined me today the kitty cat's down here 13 <laughs> she's hanging out with me but um yeah I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon bye let's do your walk up steps She's pretty self-sufficient for a little small dog. Well, there's an ecosystem in these overripe bananas. We have a butterfly here and there was two beautiful blue butterflies with blue in, in them that just flew off. Oh look, here's one right here. That one was in there. Also these big ugly looking fly things and a green fly. We're gonna have to throw these bananas out, out, out. But the bugs love them. Nice to know we're at least feeding butterflies with these things, huh? Let's look at this pretty one again. Oh, that's a pretty butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Hello. My mom really liked um, The Wizard of Oz. And she had a lot of different parties and themed parties and things and decorate it with different themes and so I don't know if she chose this because of the rainbow theme or what 
but um, after she passed away, we, my dad actually showed this to me. He told me to come out here and read it. And it made me cry, and it's pretty special to me. It says, whenever you need to find me, we are never far apart. If you look beyond the rainbow and listen with your heart. I'm not like, um, don't believe in, in a, a lot of um, new age, I don't believe in new age type thinking. This does make me think of that heaven may not really be that far away. Um, and it's, it's nice. Just thought I'd share.